this is actually so hard to set up so you can actually see things properly but we're just gonna go with it because i've been here for about 25 minutes trying to get a good angle so apologies if it's not great but we're gonna we're gonna work with it so welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm doing a huge haul today i have so many pieces that i've kind of picked up over the last um few months to be honest like a good few weeks so it wasn't like a purchase within a day or a week it's been over a period of time and a lot of them are still in stock so and um, yeah i'm going to show you them there's a lot of stuff to get through so i'm not going to talk too much about the products because obviously or the items because you're going to be able to see them but i will say before i begin i am like the bog standard size 10 uk size 10 and I will leave all of the links for all the products down below in the, script, in the description box. Make sure you check that out. And sizing and stuff that I picked up. I will try to mention it as I'm showing the sizes that I got and everything. But if I don't, because there's a lot here, so I probably will forget something, um, I'll leave it in the description box. So everything you'll need to know will be down there. So make sure you check it out. Yeah, and I apologize if you can't see full shots, but honestly, this is the best I could come up with. I'm also sweating because I have like so many lights on in the room and I'm wearing wool. So we're going to get into it. By the way, there's like stuff from everywhere. H&M, and of the Stories, everywhere. ASOS, the whole lot. So first thing is this jumper from and of the Stories. I can't remember the price of anything, but the links are down below. So the price will be on the website. And I am obsessed with this. I don't have anything really like this in my wardrobe. I got this in a size medium and it's perfect. Usually I go for large when it comes to like oversized anything. I always get like large or extra large, but this is already oversized. As you can see, this is the medium. So I'm like in love with this. And then I got these leggings. These are the Spanx um, high-waisted leggings. And they kind of have that like leather or like wet look kind of look, whatever you want to call it. And they're so comfortable. I got these in a size small and they fit perfectly. Really nice. They go up to right here and the waist, you can see all the way up to here. And yeah, they're like really stretchy. They give you a bit of support, but they're not too tight. Yeah, and then the boots, I don't know if you can even see them. I got them recently. They're from And Other Stories. They also come in a really nice like ecru or cream color, which I'm kind of tempted to get, but I said I get the black first. I do have Doc Martens, but I just find I don't wear them as much. I love how these are just completely black and they're kind of chunky, but not like ridiculously chunky. So they're kind of more timeless and like that real chunky look that's in at the moment. And they're really comfortable. So loving them. Love the little black buttons on this as well. And I also picked up these. So these were actually really affordable because some of the stuff on Anna the stories is quite expensive. Don't ask me why I got sunglasses coming into winter, but they kind of remind me of, you know, the ones that Hayley Bieber always wears. I think they're uh, YSL or Celeron. And they kind of remind me of that look. And I just like them, you know, on a sunny winter's day. I really like the same bit. This, by the way, is kind of itchy because it is um, a wool blend, but it is like smoother on the inside, but still has a slight itch. I'm like really particular about sorry that's my phone i'm really particular about the coziness and like the comfort of clothes if there's any itch i hate it so this is a little bit itchy but not too bad okay i'm gonna get changed love this really recommend this one pick it up in every color now but i'm not going to because it's very expensive okay so next up is this knit jumper from h&m i just love the color of this so much and um, I actually have it in like a khaki green color, which I'll show you next. But I seen this color online and I was like, I really want it. And I'm really happy I got it because I love the color. Sorry, I'm standing like this because the mirror is here, but I really should be standing like this. But why am I out of breath? That's so concerning. These jeans I got um, in Amsterdam a few years ago. They're Levi's. I think they're 501. So I'll link similar down below. Um, can guarantee they're going to be the exact same, but I'll link similar. And then recently I picked up these high top converse which i'm sure a lot of people have already but i just love them and i love this look this is a really nice thick knit as well it's really soft so it will keep you warm obviously you can put a coat over it if you need to like when it gets very cold or if you're in a different climate but yeah love it and yeah this one looks nice and affordable h and are so good for knitwear i'm sure everyone's aware of that already but really recommend it i'm going to show you what the khaki color looks like now just really quickly if you haven't seen it on my instagram already Okay, so this is the same jumper in the kind of khaki green color, which I also love this uh, autumn winter. I'm loving like the kind of dusty rose pink and then the khaki. Um, so same jeans, same shoes. Um, I got both of these in an extra large because I'm an idiot and I always get too big for my size. But uh, just take your regular size because they're already an oversized fit. Um, so it seems. But yeah, I love this color as well. And again, really warm, really soft, really cozy. And I just love it with this kind of... Uh, Team. Okay, so keeping the same jeans and shoes on, I'm gonna throw on, I'm gonna, I've already thrown on another knit. So, this one here I've also featured on my Instagram. This one is from Mango, and I got this in size 
medium i'm pretty sure let me check so, yeah so this one is in a size medium and it's perfect fit and um, it is more cropped as you can see this is it if i untuck it it just about tucks in and um, i think it does come in like that kind of pinky color as well sorry i'll move back a bit it's so hard to see the camera so far away but uh yeah this is really soft really comfortable and it was nice and affordable as well obviously it's a bit thinner than the other ones the other ones are like a cable knit this is just like a regular kind of um thinner knit but it's still cozy oh so, yeah next okay so the same jeans i just put on my um veya v10 runners and then this jumper or knit i got from h&m last year i think they kind of break it in every year where it's in this kind of like camel color and i actually want to show you the new end piece which is a coat which is this one here so i don't know if it's going to show up on camera but it's actually navy but a really dark navy so it kind of looks black i thought it was going to be more navy in person so I'm a bit undecided. It's from and of the story, so it is kind of expensive. But yeah, I love the navy colours with the kind of like camel and like warmer tones. And with these jeans, these same jeans, like I said. I do kind of wish this was more navy. I feel like it does look black. Like these are kind of like a dark charcoal wardrobe and it looks like black in comparison. So I don't know if I should look around and see if there's um, a different one. Also, I got this in a size medium. It's extremely oversized. <laughs> oversized this is it if i tie it up it's absolutely massive but it is really nice it has this kind of like satin lining so it like uh slips on really easily it doesn't like catch if you have knitwear or jumpers and it's like obviously very oversized as you can see so you can wear really thick jumpers and stuff underneath it i do love this style of coat and um, i just think i might need a small but then i'm afraid the arms would be too tight for a knit although there is a bit of space but you know i like the comfort i just didn't want as much volume here so let me know what you think i think i'm gonna keep it but I just want to see opinions or if you guys know of any other place I can get a nice navy uh, coat. But yeah, really do love it. Just the fact it's a little bit oversized. I don't know if I'm just kind of looking into it a bit too much, but um, yeah. Navy is really nice. I actually do like black and navy as well. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay, so next up is this jumper here. It's from H&M. I got it in a size large probably could have gotten away with the medium but the large is still fine and it's like a wool cashmere blend so it's actually really really soft it is like a really good quality jumper like the material is really really nice it's really thick it feels really expensive and i just love how it kind of sits really well on the body as well so i've paired it with these top shop and um, straight leg white jeans and then i got these Avea runners that have like this kind of khaki a uh, darker color on them I'm not gonna lie, I literally followed this girl, Jodie Wood. She's also an Irish like fashion influencer on Instagram. And she had these and the Spanx leggings and the boots. And literally when I see them, I was like, I need that. Her style is so good. So whenever I wear white jeans, I just always think her, because she always has white jeans on, even though she's children. I don't know how she does it. But love this jumper. And I also got this coat from H&M, which I had in my basket. I'm not even gonna lie, for probably six weeks and i just kept refreshing every day because it was out of stock and um, kept refreshing every day for it to come back in and it came back in stock twice and i ordered it but then obviously the order was cancelled because it wasn't actually properly in stock or whatever the hell happened eventually the other day i refreshed the page and literally every day i was refreshing and it came in stock and i got it so i got it in a size 14 so it was a little bit more oversized it is more expensive i think this was about 150 euro which for H&M is kind of expensive, but I just love the gray color. And it's really hard to find a nice gray coat at the moment because it's all a lot of um, blacks, navies, camels, beiges, that kind of color. And I just love this. And this is exactly how we wear it. I got it in a size 14, like I said, it's actually not too thick. It's a thinner kind of coat. So I love this and I'm so happy I finally got my hands on it. Okay, so next up from Mango, I have this coat. I actually got this a while ago and I did put it on my Instagram. I love this kind of like um, chevron or herringbone design. I have it with the same white Topshop um, jeans and then this basic t-shirt which was in my last Zara haul. It's from Zara. It's one of these ones here with this kind of arm. I think it's about six euro. It's one of the TRF ones. I'll link it down below. Um, and I just love this coat over the all white outfit. I think it looks really nice. Then I also got these, sorry, I got this in a size medium. Yes. You can see it is very oversized. So definitely take your own size or you can size down if you don't want it to be as big. And then I got these here. These are the Adidas Young One. Young One. If you're from Dublin or Ireland, you'll understand that, but anyone else won't. Um, trainers. I This is my third pair of these because my first pair, my second pair, I accidentally washed. And obviously the suede then turns all like greeny and kind of discolored. 
So I've got a fresh pair and they're so comfortable. They're really light and I just love them with outfits like this or even with like leggings and like gym kind of sportswear. But yeah, love this so much. I think it's really nice classic kind of look and with the gold jewelry, I just think, yeah, I love it. Delighted. Okay, so I have this and two more jumpers, which I'm just gonna throw on with the outfit that I have on already. So the Topshop jeans and then the Adidas runners. This I got recently from um, H&M as well. I got it in a size, if I can see. Hold on one sec. What size is this? I really should check before I actually put them on. This is in a size medium. Yeah, I'm not too sold on this one. It is really thin knit, which is also very good to have because obviously I have very thick ones. So it's nice to have a thin one every now and then. I just don't know. I'm not 100% sold on it. So let me know what you think. It's not too expensive. So I probably will keep it because I do like it, but it's just not like, um, it's not like a statement, which is probably good for like layering underneath things. So I do really like the color and with this outfit, it's really simple, it's easy. It's not too hot. So for days when the temperature is a little bit warmer, this is perfect. Yeah, I've got it in size medium, it's already oversized. So I'm gonna throw on my next one. Okay, so this is the next one. I'm so angry at myself because I got this in a size extra large, extra large, and like it is absolutely massive. Kind of don't mind a little bit, but like see all this excess material, could have gotten it in a medium and it would have been fine. But um, I do really like it. It's that kind of like thick cable knit, but like a soft material again. And I just really like the color of this kind of tempted to see if they have it in a size medium and potentially get it in my actual size. So yeah, we'll see. I took the tag off though, so I'm gonna have to donate this one to my sister if I do get um, a new one. But I really do love it. It's really soft, really comfortable. And again, even just with this outfit, same shoes, same look, nice and put together. And again, nice and affordable as well. Although like sometimes when you see it like this oversized, it's actually okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and then lastly is this blue one here, also from H&M. Why did I not check the size? One second. Okay, so I got this shock car in a size extra large again. And this one is extremely itchy. I think it's like an alpaca blend, I think, but it is so itchy on my skin. But I really like the color of it. So yeah, I still wear it and I still really like it. You could probably wear like a um, thermal or something underneath if you wanted to, but I'm a very sweaty, high temperature kind of person so thermal underneath this just actually makes me hot thinking about it so i can't I think this one might have been a bit more expensive because it is that kind of like wool or a pack of blend i can't remember if it's wool or what but yeah yeah i do really like the color for something different um is that everything and yeah that is pretty much it for me hopefully you guys enjoyed this it feels so weird doing an outro when you're doing a haul because i'm so far away from the camera i'm literally like am i even in it but yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if it was rushed. I just really didn't want it to be ridiculously long because there was a lot of stuff there. And like I said, I'll leave all of the information down below if I did skip by anything. Anything else I'm trying to remember? I always think I have it all. And then when I'm editing, I'm like, I literally left out so much information. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know any other videos that you want me to film. I'm thinking of doing a beauty one next, like a hair one or a makeup one, maybe Charlotte Tilbury kind of Christmas makeup look. So let me know. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, so I actually just completely forgot about <laughs> these trousers. So I got these from um, ASOS and they're this like leather look, straight leg trouser. <laughs> I'm like frazzled now, but yeah. I have a paired with the same um, Zara basic t-shirts. This is a Zara blazer that I got a while ago. I'm pretty sure they'll probably have another similar one in because I always have blazers. And then I have them with these shoes because I don't actually know what shoes to wear with this kind of look. Let me know. I had Converse, but I just don't know if it looked right. I think this is all right though. Yeah, these are so comfortable. They're really high-waisted. Why am I always out of breath? It's actually really like bad. They're high-waisted. They're so nice and stretchy and they're really comfortable. So they're not like restricting the way other kind of like um, leather or leather effect trousers can be. They're really, really nice. And they're a good length. I'm about 5'7", 5'8". You can see the length of them there on me. Nice with like casual shoes and also with heels as well because they go long and uh, go, what am I trying to say? They go down quite low on your leg or long on your leg. They have good length. What the fuck is wrong with me? Anyway, this is the actual last outfit. Bye.